Can you jump in there and tell us what's going on? Okay, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Loud and proud, it's Jiggy Jaguar from JiggyJaguar.com. Thank you. Good night. Jiggy Jag TV. Christmas tonight here in the uh, the great rolling city of McPherson, Kansas. We're here in McPherson. Uh, Person. that's right. Not Pearson. Person. We learned that today. <laughs> and cut. Yeah. We got pretty far starting off. We did, we're good. doing well. Yeah. Uh, no, we're, we're here in McPherson. There it is. And... It, this is a really cool uh, cool gig for us today. We did a little sound check earlier, and it's actually in a high school, I believe, which I yes, don't believe. Yes, the McPherson High School. But I don't believe we've, we've ever played in this type of high school situation ever, so it's going to be kind of really cool. I mean, the, the room is beautiful. Oh, yeah. The lights, and it's, it's really nice. It is awesome. Yeah. And your sound guy, Jordan, is one of the best sound guys in Central Kansas. Okay. Sweet. He doesn't like me saying that, but. Nice. Well, it's good to know. Yeah. No, we're very happy to be here. It's going to be a great show tonight. So uh, you guys and girls started this, th- what, 2008 is when this thing all sort of kicked Ish, off? Yeah, 2007. Yeah. 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 So what's been some of the big successes along the way? Man, uh, there's, there's been... We, Being alive? I stopped, waiting, <laughs> I stopped waiting to bed this year. That was good. <laughs> no, it's, it's been a whirlwind. Um, we put out our, our first record back in 2009, and... Um, it's just you know really been working hard at our goal to to be able to play music and and make a living and do what we love day in and day out and yeah uh, yeah I mean it's been crazy it's tough on the road to remember like what you did last week because we stay so busy <laughs> but there's been uh, there's been some amazing stuff most recently um, we got to uh, play on Jay Leno uh, we were yep. just in Heart of Dixie the season finale of that had some music in that wow got to sing the uh, national anthem at the AFC championship game last Nikes. year. That was cool. Uh, yeah. Got to perform at the White House. I'm assuming you have to pay to get into the game. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, not, not that time for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's been great. And we've been out this year in support of our, our latest record, A Thousand Miles Left Behind. Yep, that's what I was getting ready to ask you about. Yeah. What was the writing process like for that? Uh, we all wrote or co-wrote all the songs on this record, so... Um, it was really a reflection of our past three years together um, and in our own personal lives. But we just kind of gathered a lot of real life experiences and really like the, it's the story of our past couple of years. Yeah. We went from being, you know, three smaller town kids that had never traveled that much and just grew up loving music to being everywhere in the world all of a sudden. And uh, Gigantic you know, country music stars. Well, Come on, not, say it. Not, yet. <laughs> not yet. But at least in the, room, we're in the room now among some of our <laughs> idols, you know, so it's just weird to be like, it, your world gets kind of turned upside down. And I think a lot of this album is about our reaction to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So uh, what was the some of the trials and tribulations of putting this album together? <laughs> well, it was crazy because um, some of you may know, we, have, we uh, if you guys that are watching, uh, we were... We had four members in the band when we started this this record, actually, yeah. and um, went through a personnel change and, and went back to the three of us, which is actually how the band started back in Nashville before we added a fourth member. So this whole process really was about getting back to our roots, getting that excitement back and getting that same feeling that we had when the three of us you know, sat down in her one-bedroom apartment in downtown Nashville with a couple <laughs> acoustic guitars. <laughs> And it sang, got goosebumps, and said, oh, wow, we really have something special here. So um, it was crazy putting out the record and then going back in and kind of re-recording and reorganizing the record. And um, and the fans have been great. I mean, honestly, with the, with the biggest song we had was Kissed You Goodnight, and that's the most success we've ever had with any song. It's yeah. going to sell a million copies uh, coming up here in a week or two. We're almost there. So wow. I think it was the most played country song by any group of this year. Last year. Last or last year, year I'm yeah, sorry. Year. And Tom wrote it, which is really cool, too. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, do you guys have any, like, musical possessions that you still have, like your first concert T-shirt or a signed hat? <laughs> That's a good question. But... You got, what do you guys have that you've hung on to for a while? Gosh, I don't really hang on to anything for, for too long. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I will say that um, one thing that 
meant a lot to me that made a, a really big impact on me as a as a child was I got a cassette tape of Sheryl Crow's All I Want to Do when I was five years old. It was the That's first cool. musical possession that I ever had. Yeah. And it was really the reason why I started singing. So I, I wore that thing out and probably drove my mother crazy. <laughs> but I I got into music at that point and have idolized Sheryl Crow ever since. And now she's on our label at Warner Brothers, Warner Music Nashville. And yeah. It's, it's really, That's pretty cool. It's awesome to get to see her around and perform with her and at times we have we've got a lot of shows yeah. coming up with her and so that's that was probably my first musical possession that's probably somewhere in the abyss of my yeah. childhood home <laughs> at my parents place but um yeah that, that would i have be uh, like just a guitar so it was a guitar that i had when tom and i were playing in bloomington um you know we were kind of broke musicians and i ended up not <laughs> having to sell it to pay the rent which has happened a couple times to me with guitars yeah so I got to hang on to that, and I still have it, and that's one of my, it's probably my most favorite guitar, and I that's still cool. play that one, yeah. That's cool. Now, but you, you got anything? I've got Grandpa's uh, World War II accordion. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's before I was <laughs> born, but it's <laughs> old, and yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you guys won, what was it, top, top new vocal group, American... Academy of Country Music Awards. The ACM, ACM yeah. yeah, and there was an AMA. AMA. What was that like when you guys... Awesome. Cool. First of all, being nominated, and yeah. then, where were you Where were you when you guys got nominated? For that? We, were, uh, we, we got the ACM on the Opry stage, and I believe... Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Trace Atkins. Trace Atkins, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was about three years ago now. Yeah. He so, handed it to us in the Opry stage. Yeah, that that's cool. Came yeah. out and surprised us. Like, yeah, mm. really. I never remember where we are when we get nominated, though, because I, like, it's such a from that point till the award show, it's such a whirlwind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, you know? um, and you're so excited about it. Usually, it's like we'll be on the road somewhere and get a phone call, or you know, Barry, our tour manager, will say like, "Oh, you're, the label wants to talk to you." You either know it's like, really good news or really, really bad, bad news. news. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So, you, go, you, you know, go. if it's good, it's like, uh, so you're nominated for whatever you'll be playing on the award show, then, you know, we're freaking out. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Before I let you guys go, I know you guys got a, a packed schedule because the this town has been going insane the last cool. the last several months. Uh, we love you. You guys are going to be awesome. here. Cool. Right. So they, they, they thought... Clint Black, Garth Brooks, everybody was showing up. Ah! So <laughs> that, that is the kind of be, buzz that. Prepare to be disappointed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys using social media? Uh, we're all about it. I mean, we have everything on our iPhones. So the biggest thing to us being Twitter and Facebook. And then we're really into Instagram, starting to get into Vine, making those little Vine videos. So to us, That's it's cool. just really important to. Not only stay connected with the fans, but to also really be able to show them what we're really like, you know, aside cool. from the musical part of things. Yeah. So yeah. it's cool to to be able to be that directly connected. So yeah. we're we're all about it. It gives back, it, other than just performing and <laughs> you know yeah. selling a CD or a T-shirt. You also get to interact with them on a daily basis, which I think that's cool. Is another way for an artist to give back even more and say thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's fun. We're big dorks on the social media <laughs> stuff, so it's cool. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for doing this. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks Thank man. you much. Yeah, you got it. The Jiggy Jaguar. The Jiggy Jaguar. The Jiggy Jaguar Show. The Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar Show. The Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar Show. The Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar Show. Show.